In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a custom certificate of completion for your iSpring Learn LMS. A certificate for iSpring Learn courses must be a PDF document with valid form fields. We'll start with creating a PDF certificate, and then we'll add special fields to it where iSpring will automatically insert students' data. We'll use the Microsoft Office collection of templates to create a new document. When you open PowerPoint, just type Certificate of Completion in the search field to search for a suitable template. Let's use this template. Just double click to download and open the template. Now you need to edit the certificate. You're welcome to customize this certificate to match your company branding or create your own from scratch. As you can see, I've added a company name and left the rest of these placeholders blank. Next, we'll add special form fields to be filled by iSpring Learn later. In order to do that, you'll need a PDF editor like Adobe Acrobat DC. Don't mix it up with Adobe Acrobat Reader. It's just a reader, and you can't edit PDF files in it. First, we need to convert the certificate to PDF. Go to the File menu. Once you have Acrobat installed, you can use the Save as Adobe PDF option to export your file. After the PDF file is saved, it will open automatically in Adobe Acrobat DC. First, click the Prepare Form option. From this screen, click the Start button. After the certificate is loaded, a dialog will pop up. Close the dialog, and now you're ready to add text fields to your certificate. Click the Add a Text Field button, point where you want to add the text field, and click the mouse button. The program asks to name the field. Let's insert the student's name here. That will be Name. Field names are case sensitive, so make sure you type the field name in all capitals. There are four default field names, name, course name, date, and duration. The name field will be replaced with the name of a student who completes your course. Course name will contain the title of your course so you can use the same certificate for several courses. The duration field will show the amount of time a given student spent on completing your course, and the date field will show the date when the course was completed. As you can see, I've also added a custom field here. We'll take a look at custom fields in a moment. When you're done adding fields, go to File and click Save. Now let's look at custom fields. Here in iSpring Learn, go to the People section and click the User Profile Fields tab. Here is a list of fields that must be filled out by students when they enroll in your iSpring Learn account. Let's scroll down to My Custom Field. Click the pencil icon to edit a field. To require students to fill out this field, make sure both of these boxes are checked. Under the name of the field, you will see the variable that can be used in certificates. You're welcome to change the name if you like. Now we're ready to upload our custom certificate. Go to Settings, and select the Administrator Portal tab. Scroll down to the Certificate Templates section, and click Add Certificate. Give it a title, and click Browse to find the file. Now click Upload. Your certificate will appear in the list. If you like, you can make it the default for all courses. To save your changes, go to the top and click Save. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.